Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a DIY board and batten wall in this bathroom. This is going to be part one of a bathroom makeover, and I'm going to be redoing basically this whole bathroom whenever I can. I'm going to just be updating it. So I already made my measurements on the wall, and I'll explain later why I chose to do the wall that's around the door and not another wall. Um, but I basically want it to go on that wall right there and let's get into it. Okay guys, so a long time ago I got a bunch of free trim and I got some wood and stuff and I've used a little bit of what I had for my kitchen island and I have this long one by two i believe it was eight feet long last time when i was taking measurements so for the board and batten i'm gonna have two pieces going down on the right side of the door of this and i'm not gonna put any on the other side because it's so it's it's such a small area so that is the plan and this will be at the top this is also just like a random shorter piece. I did not cut this or anything. It was just like that. So I already made my measurements and I'm going to start cutting. So after I cut the 45 degree angle, I sanded all around so it's a little bit, you know, it's just smoother. I am going to be painting it, but still I wanted it to be, I wanted it to feel kind of nice just in case my daughter feels like she wants to run her hands over it. And then on this end, I sanded it a little bit on that edge. As you can see, I didn't want to make a cut, so I just sanded it smoother. So it kind of like looks nicer when it's flush with the um, trim piece. And I marked a spot on the middle of each end of these pieces. And then what I did, so I measured this, I figured out the halfway mark, and then I measured the halfway mark in between the halfway mark. So if this was the halfway mark, I measured what it was from there to the end and measured out the halfway mark. So then I can measure on the wall um, the halfway mark. So that is where I'm gonna line the boards up. So I will be taking the board basically and the line on the board is going to match up and that way I can go all the way to the top and then I drew a line at the top and a halfway mark there as well. Um, and then the darker line that starts on the top, that is where the top piece will go. But honestly, it doesn't matter to do that because once you put these in, which I suggest doing first, then you can lay that on top and it will be flush. Okay, and since I don't have like a battery powered nail gun, I have to use the air compressor. I have this hose running all the way down into the bathroom. So I'm gonna do it that way.
Okay, so because I had no like a heat, it, no glue or anything or adhesive or anything for the boards, I put a ton of nails into them just to make sure it's going to be okay. Um, maybe in the future I'll pull them off and put some glue or whatever on them, but for now. So I just use joint compound to fill the holes. Um, I will have to let it dry and it might sink in a little bit and then I can do it again. But I did it to the boards as well and I will clean up the boards. I know it's like pretty messy. I'm not worried about it because I can just kind of sand or wipe it down. And then, yeah, so my plan is paint this section the same color as the trim. And um, I went around the outlet so I can actually finally put the outlet back on eventually. I do have to go around again before I do that. Um, I just don't want the kids in the middle of the night trying to reach for the light and get electrocuted. You never know. So, and like I probably mentioned before, I did not put a board going down on the side. First off, because it's such a small area that that is smaller than in between these two. Um, I didn't want it completely centered. So I think it looks nicer like that. And then it also gives, you know, the obvious, like it shows that in between each board is such a wide space. So it doesn't look as weird that there's no board over there. So I believe that if these were closer together, it would look really strange with none being over there. And if one was over here, I had measured it out, it would have been like probably on the very edge, if any at all, like if it actually like went all the way. Um, because I was thinking of putting it right in the center and then I'm like, that just looks funny. And what if you're looking and you're in the bathroom so long that you have time to try to figure out like where would each board go? You would figure out that it would go along the edge and then I did put one up there just to see what it would look like and it didn't look right. So I just figured leave that. Once it's all white and everything, it will look more cohesive. And um, I, after I plan on painting, I'm going to do the caulking and everything like really make it all tie in together. I have to do all the trim in here white, still have to clean everything up. But I'm pretty proud that I finally figured out a way to use what I had. And it took me forever to figure out like exactly what exactly I wanted to do. Because I only had so much to work with. Um, but I tell you one thing, if you don't think you have enough for a project, just kind of like really sit down and look at every space. Because my first thought was this wall. I thought anyone would have normally came in here and done an accent wall right here. But the problem with that is what would I do? Like have the board go from there to here or like across, no matter what it would look like, it would look strange. And so I figured the best way to make it look would be on this wall. And then I even considered like having it go all the way, but it would just be really strange. So just because someone else online or on Pinterest is doing something a certain way, it doesn't mean that that's gonna work for your home. It's your home, you can do it however you want. But anyways, I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna come back, see if the joint compound sank in or not. And then if it did, I'm gonna redo it. And then we will get to painting. Okay, so normally I would probably caulk this. I'm going to paint it. Um, and my husband said we have some, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna paint this part white and I might end up painting the whole bathroom. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint this white and I am so excited. It looks better even just coming in here and seeing this. It just like adds so much character. I'm so excited. This is my first like accent wall, I guess. I think, I believe, well, that's not true. I did like the fake brick and all that. I did all that, um, but it was like too much. 
it was too much to me. Um, I liked it, lived with it, got over it, I guess. <laughs> um, it's just not for me. But anyways, this is like my first accent wall using something like using wood, like my first board and batten wall. And I don't even know if this is technically board and batten. I think it is. I don't know. Does it matter if you're using trim or not? <laughs> but I'm going to paint this. I'm kind of afraid to shake this because the lid, I can't like get in there all the way. I'm just making sure it's the right color. <laughs> I'm like too excited right now. This is a dark apple. I've been wanting something like this for a long time. Not necessarily like in the bathroom, but I just felt like um, out in our dining room we already have something like that. And so I kept telling myself if I do it somewhere else, obviously it's not going to match, you know, and I was so worried about it not matching. Um, not as in the color. The color actually will match, but I don't need it to match, but I'm loving the agreeable gray with a super bright white. <sighs> I'm nervous. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh, by the way, okay, I need to switch. My hair is driving me crazy. Put that up there. Ooh. Gosh, stay behind my ear. By the way. Um, I did wipe these down. I wiped everything down. I did wipe this down again and I wiped down the walls and stuff just so you guys know. Okay. Okay. So I know that the boards that I'm painting right now stick out a little bit and well, quite a bit. <laughs> further from the trim from the bottom of the trim but I mean it's fine I'm just using what I have and I feel like a lot of the times like I feel like this is like the problem with everybody they want to do something but they always watch youtubers right they watch all these youtube videos like obviously my video wouldn't pop up on like how to do this <laughs> it's my first one but you know you watch tutorials and they are using like the exact kind of things that you need and sometimes you just don't have exactly all that stuff so I just like to update my home as much as I can on like a very tight budget like I will spend money on paint but I'm not going to go out and buy things because I don't need this this is a want you know I want an accent wall I, I could live without it obviously I've done that but I do like it and I think for coming up with you know, using what I had. I think it's coming out good, except for that one piece is a little bowed, but hopefully when I get the caulking, I can do that and just, or get the caulk. I can like caulk in, I don't know. We'll see. Um, you guys will obviously see in the future how it comes out. <laughs> Okay guys, so off camera, I went ahead and just painted, um, this is only one coat, um, 
up, I painted agreeable gray above the white and I went above the tub or I went above, I went above the shower over there. Um, so I just wanted to give you kind of an idea of what the bathroom will look like, but I do need to do the second coats and all that, but, um, but I'm actually going to cut the video here and this will be, I don't even know how many parts because there's kind of a lot I wanted to do in this bathroom. So I don't know my, hmm, <laughs> take three or four. I don't know how many parts, um, this back, hmm, hold on. Okay. I don't know how many parts this bathroom makeover is going to be in, but on the second part, I will already have a second coat on all of what you just seen me paint. I'm not going to start painting the second coat, um, just because I don't want it to be like five parts down the road. You know what I mean? Um, I want to try to make the videos kind of like quick and to the point, but enjoyable and kind of show you the process, but not make it too long. You know what I mean? Um, but you will see me paint the rest of the bathroom agreeable gray. I know that for sure. I don't know what else is going to be in that video because I'm not a hundred percent sure on, I have like all different kinds of ideas for the rest of that. <laughs> okay. I don't have to hold the phone anymore. So I have a lot of ideas um, and I'm still kind of trying to make up my mind. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Came out so much quicker when I'm not holding the phone. Wow. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and leave a heart emoji down in the comments. That just lets me know that you watched it until the end and you enjoyed it. You don't have to even comment anything if you're in a rush, whatever. You don't have to think of, oh, what should I say? It's just the heart. Um, but you can comment whatever you want to as well. But anyways, that's what we're doing over in this channel. I'm actually probably gonna quit explaining why in this video. And you can just leave a heart down in the comments, any heart you want. Um, anyways, I will see you guys in my next one. Um, also just to remind you, I made this like, it, it's not hard. I don't know why I was so intimidated by this. I have no idea. Um, so that actually feels like really good. Like a huge weight's lifted off my shoulders for one. Um, but I wanted to mention that I had made this with two boards. Um, this one trim piece, if you remember, I made one cut on it, no two technically, but two pieces, you know what I mean? I got from one that I got for free a long time ago. It's actually in one of my videos. I don't actually know which video, but it is, I do show the post. Um, there's proof <laughs> and another, that eight foot board. Um, I got these two pieces from, so with a little bit of paint, some cuts, a little bit of sanding, a nail gun, and I didn't have glue, so, huh. um, and that's why I was kind of holding them as I was painting them. I just, like, feel like they're going to come out, but they're not, but, um, you know, and just a little bit of creativity, creativity, creativity. Okay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll see you in my next one. Bye.